Hello, Dimsdale. I'm Chet Ubecho with today's editorial, which technically makes it a Chetatorial. A lawsuit accuses Oregon's Providence Health and Oregon Anesthesiology Group, OAG, of negligence after over 2,000 patients were potentially exposed to HIV and hepatitis due to an anesthesiologist's failure to follow infection control procedures. Four plaintiffs from Clackamas County, who received surgeries between 2022 and 2024, are seeking class action status and unspecified damages. Providence Health alerted patients of the low-risk exposure and urged them to get tested. The physician responsible was suspended and terminated. The case highlights severe emotional distress for affected patients and ongoing concerns about healthcare-associated infections. In other developments, two men died after a road rage incident in Southern California. Jonathan McConnell, 38, riding a motorcycle, collided with Aaron Harris, 37, driving a sedan with his two children, ages 2 and 5, on the 210 freeway. Harris followed McConnell to a parking lot where McConnell met acquaintances. Harris threatened McConnell and fired a gun at him, prompting McConnell to return fire. Both men were fatally shot. An unnamed male at the scene sustained a non-fatal gunshot wound. The children were unharmed. Mara Rodriguez from the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department emphasized the tragic escalation of anger on the roads. In another update, two women were killed and five others injured in a shooting at a barbecue in Rochester's Maplewood Park. The victims, Tiazia Manning, 25, and Felicia Council, 34, were described as innocent bystanders. Manning, a city employee, was praised for her work with youth. The shooting occurred around 6 p.m. on Sunday with hundreds of people, including children, present. Rochester Mayor Malik Evans condemned the violence, emphasizing the community's right to enjoy the park safely. No arrests have been made, and police are urging anyone with information to contact the major crimes unit. In other news, Nader al Naji, 32, a California entrepreneur, was arrested on wire fraud charges for his BitCloud venture, which mixed social media with cryptocurrency. al Naji allegedly deceived investors, diverting millions meant for the platform to himself, his family, and company employees. BitCloud allowed users to bet on the future reputation of influencers using creator coins. Despite claims of decentralization and regulatory evasion, al Naji controlled the project and used investor funds for personal luxuries. The SEC has filed civil charges, revealing extensive misuse of the $257 million raised. al Naji was released on bail after a court appearance in Los Angeles. From all of us here, stay classy, Dimsdale!